Oh, here's. That's somewhere. Come on. What do we do with that? Coffee man of coffee. Where's my coffee? Ah, there it is. Coffee heat time. Mm. Come on top. Palm and Dave. Cowboy Dave feels so much better. Hey everybody, how you all doing? <laughs> Not really a cowboy. I only wear a cowboy hat. People call me cowboy. If I was a real cowboy, I'd have a cow or a horse. Um, don't have a cow. Don't have a horse. Don't have a chicken. Don't have a goat. Don't even have a pet dog, cat, bird. Um, I got a plant. I water it once a week. So if you got a plant, make sure you water it. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm having a lot of fun. You know why? Because I finally figured out the split screen. And look who's sitting beside me over here. Alipata. I'm going to pull the screen up there a little bit for us. Though. Here we go. I'll make that better. Anyhow, oh, you know what? i got to go back smaller. I haven't seen this video before. And this is called Jetabral Blues, um, recommended by Indra, a fantastic uh, alloper. I'm going to put a link below here to Indra's channel. Um, go to Indra's channel. Support Indra. A great alloper. Alloper's best allopers in the world. And a big shout out to uh, Steve Guitar. Um, recently discovered Elite Bata because of my recommendation. I'm so happy because he's become a true Alloper. Not only that, this guy is uh, virtually a guitar teacher. He knows his guitar. He knows um, chords. He can play guitar very good too. I am so impressed that he is becoming an Alloper. Makes me so happy because that was all the always my dream the first time I started doing uh, Alloper videos. Uh, coffee man of coffee everybody though. Mm. Always make Elite Bata's vi videos so so good. Um, this is uh, recommended by Indra. Um, I haven't seen this video. Indra says I've never reacted to it so I figure what a great thing I'll go check it out and I'll do a reaction to it. The cool thing about it is that this is my first time doing a split screen. Yeah, yay. <laughs> um, reaction video, anyways, this way. Um, I did do try to do a duet trying to play the guitar. Didn't turn out all that good. Anyway, this is the blues. Um, I think Andrew recommended this one um, because of me recently trying to practice soloing. Um, I tried to pay, play patience um, and pff, it's hard to do. Um, so we're going to check this out. This is a blues here by uh, Ali Bata. If you're new, go to Ali Bata channel, um, Fingerstyle channel, subscribe to him, leave a comment, uh, meet Alipers, become an Aliper, best community in the world. Um, sooner or later, I'm going to get my picture over there, my Alipers picture over there, doing a little bit of switching around here now that I finally figured out this camera thing. And uh, so here we go. I'm excited. I am so excited. Always, always, Alipers, peace and love to you all out there. Um, from Palm and uh, Cowboy Dave, Canada. Uh, here we go. Well, definitely the blues, that's for sure. <laughs> he just did a tap there on more than one string. Do -do -do -do. Oh. It wasn't quite a harmonic though, it's more of a, almost like a snare beat. Wow. I've seen some guitarists do this before. Uh, bend when he's got three fingers on the strings and he's bending one and keeping two in the same place and I mean that's <laughs> for muscle control to be able to do that to teach your muscles and your hands to do that that's pretty intricate um, uh, let's go on here we go ah, he did it again the first time he just tapped more than one string and when he tapped the first time there he got sound out of more than one string Makes you want to quit playing guitar, doesn't it? Because I don't care how much you practice, I'm just not going to play that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't get that good. But you know what? I'm never going to quit playing guitar because it's just too much fun playing. Dang. <laughs> Here we go. Man, could you imagine him on electric guitar? A couple of tweeting. I know I should just shut up. <laughs> no, honestly. Imagine him on electric guitar. A couple of tweet amps on a Gibson Les Paul or a, or a Fender or something like that. Just a couple of big, huge tweet amps behind him, blasting it out there. It'd be like, what? <laughs> a little plug there for Fender. I don't know why. Uh, oh, that's why. I got a little Fender amp. <laughs> Anyhow, here we go. If you're new here and you haven't seen this, what he just put on his finger there is just slide. He made that. He did a video where he made that. At first, had no idea what it was he was doing. Um, he did so much sanding to it. I mean, took his. It took quite a while. He put some time into making that baby, and uh, they make it and they use it on top of the guitar. Uh, to give you a little bit of my insight of a slide, uh, through everybody's course, if you play guitar. You're, you're going to pick up things. You're going to look around you. I mean, you're going to find a lighter or something, a pen. You're going to put it on the strings. You're going to try to make noise. When you're playing a slide, slide, most people like high action on the guitar. That means the strings are sitting high from the fretboard. And the reason why they want it high is because when they're playing the slide part that's on top of the strings, the hard object, uh, whether it be like a glass. This is a glass tube that a, a leaf is using here because watch to make it. Um, some people will use plastic. It originally come from a, a pill bottle, if I'm not mistaken. That's how it originated. It was somebody who put it on their finger because their finger was so sore it was broken. So they took the pill bottle and stuck that on the end of their finger and used that <laughs> to protect their finger from the pain and discovered this new slide sound. Anyhow, the reason why they have the string so high on action is because you don't actually push the string down to the fretboard. You kind of just hold it right above that wire, which is your fret wire, to get your note there. Not in between the fret wires. That's how you play a guitar is when you're pressing down is between the fret wires. Um, same as harmonics. But when you're playing a slide, you're actually on top of the wire. It makes it actually difficult to know where you are. Are you below the note or above the note? Right? So you see people will slide up to the note like, well, anyhow, I talk too much. <laughs> up on that he's playing the bass along with playing the the slide <laughs> he's also playing the rhythm now he's got the bass he's got the backup rhythm guitarist and he's playing the slide lead billy gibbons of uh of uh zz top would just be going what what <laughs> yo 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 <laughs> you want to jam with him Kevin's is a master at the slide. If you want to see somebody play slide, ZZ Top, man. turn the 12 bar blues into 13 14 maybe 15 bars <laughs> it's a it's a guitar term that's a 12 bar blues turn that was a bit more than 12 probably anyhow <laughs>
wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Indra, hey man, thanks for recommending that. No, I've never seen that video before. Um, does that make me want to quit playing the blues? You know what? It makes me not want to try to attempt to play it like that. <laughs> um, but no, it inspires me absolutely to keep playing, that's for sure. That but That's incredible, man. You feel the Alper love uh, when he hits that. He's, it never ceases to amaze. Never ceases to amaze. They call it 12-bar blues. At a slow pace like that, BPMs, uh, beats per minute, that was probably... I don't know, it's definitely maybe 80, 85, maybe even less than that, which is slow in which most guitars would want to be practicing the blues to, trying to solo to. Um, even at that speed, he just took it to a level where, pff, don't even try it, Dave. I'm not going to. But peace and love all the helpers out there. Check out the links below. Steve Guitar, I introduced him. He's now an Alloper. Um, Darren Birch introduced him. He's now an Alloper. Um... Steve Guitar does some great, great reaction videos. Um, total professional guitarist. Uh, you want to see a quality? You really want to see uh, what somebody who really knows guitar thinks about Ali Bata? Check out Steve Guitar's uh, channel. Um, good friend of mine. Uh, peace and love, everybody out there. I'm going to sit back, enjoy my coffee, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye, everyone.